That's pretty good classy waveform there. Uh, that is coming from this piece of foil that is dangling in the field of the uh, Class E Tesla coil right there. And you can see that I've got a couple of uh, uh, couple of neons glowing pretty brightly on there just with one wire. And uh, there's the circuit. I've got an IRF P450 in there. And just, uh, just in case, I've got a fan on the heat sink to keep it running cool. I'm giving it about 33.4 volts and a current of 1.7 amps DC from a brute force power supply down there somewhere. Uh, there it is. That's, that's, my, that's my 30 volt DC power supply there. And so, uh, so what's running? Those neons are so bright they're hard to look at. Just one wire, one wire, and uh, let's see if I can do this without blowing out the camera. Woo! Ow! God darn it! Youch! Yow! Ouch! That's called RF burn. Okay, so we're just about to the point of tuning where we can start making Corona by giving it a uh, hundred volts or so input instead of the measly 30 that I'm giving it now. Um, it's going to have to wait until I finish building the DC power supply section though, which goes on that part of the board. Okay, classy Tesla coil, auto resonating. That's pick up through the air of the nice, uh, that's the uh, resonator's RF output and there's a little, little kink in there where the output is not truly class E, but it's switching pretty well. The MOSFET is switching almost at the zero voltage level, so uh, that's working pretty well. It's not getting very warm even though I do have the fan on there. Yeah, it's dead cold. Well, not dead cold. I feel a little temperature, but it's carrying uh, one and a half, 1.7 amps through that 450. Right. You can see that uh, sometimes the oscillation mode is not that stable depending on the environment of the coil. And that also depends on the gate voltage setting, the gate bias, which I control with this little pot right here. If I turn the gate bias one way or the other, you can see I get some waveforms that uh, are not really good class E waveforms. But if I get a tweak just right there, that's what I want to see right there on the RF radiation part. Alright, classy, doing the job. It's got a five turn primary, uh, 350 turns or so of uh, number 27 magnet wire on a black PVC forma. And uh, it's a very, very simple classy circuit. Thank you for watching.